Hello, and welcome to the Ray Systems Multi-Ray Training. In this training series, we will cover various aspects related to the usage and basic maintenance of the multi-ray product family, including calibration, power-up, sensor and battery replacement, data load download, and more. Let's get started. Ray Systems recommends that your multi-ray be fully calibrated periodically in accordance with national and regional regulations but no less frequently than every 180 days. The fresh air or zero calibration sets the first point for the sensor calibration curve. Fresh air calibration should be performed in clean ambient air with 20.9% oxygen. If the ambient air is not clean, you can use the zero grade air cylinder or dry air and the charcoal filter to eliminate hydrocarbons. The fresh air calibration process on the multi-ray can be performed in two ways. You can fresh air calibrate all the sensors simultaneously or you can calibrate individual sensors. There is also an option for the instrument to prompt you for a zero calibration every time it starts. This option is called zero at start and it's configurable under the monitor menu of the programming mode. So let's perform a multi-sensor fresh air calibration. To do so, we need to enter the programming menu. Press the mode and the end button simultaneously until the password screen appears. The default password is 0000. If you don't know the password, just press done and you would still be able to access the basic calibration options. Press the Y button to enter the calibration menu and select fresh air. The instrument shows which sensors are going to be simultaneously calibrated in fresh air. So now all the five sensors of interest are selected here. I'm going to press start and the fresh air calibration countdown begins. You can abort the fresh air calibration by pressing the end button. If you let the fresh air calibration complete, it would give you the pass fail results for all sensors and then show the fresh air calibration readings for each sensor. So now we can see that all the sensors passed and we have zeros for all sensors except for oxygen for which the reading is 20.9% which is the right reading. Let's say we wanted to perform a single sensor zero on the PPB PID sensor. And let's say we know that there are some hydrocarbons present in the air. So let's attach the charcoal filter and use it to calibrate the sensor. Then under the calibration menu, I'm going to select single sensor zero and pick the VOC sensor, which is our PID. I'm going to press select and start. When the zero calibration completes, the instrument will show me the pass-fail calibration status for the PID sensor. It says zero calibration passed and the reading, which is zero PPB, exactly what we need. Press the mode button to return to the main measurement screen. And as always, remove the charcoal filter prior to using the instrument. We at Ray Systems hope that you have found this video to be useful and informative. Please stay tuned for more Ray Systems videos and thank you for watching.